Oh, hello, this is Michael Keneally, and I'm doing yet another video on the energy of the runes. And this is the 11th rune, Isa, Ice. Uh, the runes are divided into three groups of eight, so we're in the second at. The first at is all about what it is to be a human being and communicate and go on journeys and form partnerships and find joy. But the second eight are all about states which can be very difficult but take us beyond being a human. They take us to the brink of the Bifrost Bridge which goes to the God Realm. And the guardian of the second at is Heimdall who is the watchman of the gods. He guards Bifrost, the bridge that goes from Midgard to Asgard. Isa. Well, Isa, like its preceding couple of runes, Hagalas and now this, is a challenging rune on the face of it, and is a challenge. Imagine ice, everything frozen and on hold, inhospitable to life, love and emotions, frozen, locked. And yet, that's not necessarily as bad as it can seem. Yes, we do have to develop qualities to last through frozen and locked situations such as patience and fortitude and trying to keep our fire alive. But in itself, the principle of ice isn't all bad. Ice is very beautiful. Imagine the sort of, uh, the beauty of ice flows, the sculptured pinnacles of ice on glaciers. Ice is about focus and concentration and that can be very positive, very needed at times. All of the runes describe a facet of life and each rune is also a magical key for improving our relationship with that facet. So when we need to be ice-like focused and concentrated we can visualise and call in Isa. That's uh, you know, one of the more positive meanings and the more negative situations is surviving those frozen locked times which people have to endure, perhaps it's some people's destiny more than others. And there it's patience and decency and kindness that can be called for. That, in a strange way, is the gift of Isa. I suppose the rune can also be used in a magical way if certain people are you know, being very intrusive and so one can, as it were, freeze their energies or at least the, the impact of their energies on us by invoking the rune Isa. We can neutralise their turbulence or attack just as we can with Hagalas or using now this. And lastly what I'd want to say is that Isa is associated with a bridge, a bridge of ice. Um, you see, water can freeze. I have seen the sea frozen and so when waters freeze, well that can actually freeze the lunar currents and tides. Our emotions, our intuitions can be frozen. But also it can sort of create a bridge. You can go from one side of a river to another over the ice bridge, the frozen surface of a river. That's a fact. It's very dangerous. It's very deceptive. At any moment the ice can crack and you can drop through. But you can make that journey. That's another facet of Isa. And it's a fact that the excesses and brutalities of the Roman Empire were actually ended by Isa um, as Rome teetered towards its deserved ruin. The Rhine froze and the Huns, the Visigoths and the Vandals swarmed across the Rhine and sacked Rome. The Romans were forced to acknowledge that their ever-expanding brutal military force 
they're sort of McDonald'sized empire where you just imposed their model you know, on roads and on forts and cities and thought could expand no further. There were some people who would not accept its expansion and they crossed the river of ice and Rome fell. So Issa is a complicated and rich rune. It's well worth knowing its facets. It's well worth being able to call in its energy. Thank you.